Hey, ChatGPT, um, what is a funny way to start our LPSP update video? Uh, short text, please. Hey there, LPSP enthusiasts and fellow couch adventurers. Buckle up your imagination belts because we're about to... Uh, man, this is actually kind of lame. Let's just r roll the video. Uh, St Steve, just roll the video. I'm Octavian, or Big O, lead big dude man at Infima Games. I make videos and rag my brain trying to come up with cool features to add to our assets. Without further ado, here's the update. Starting the game will drop us straight into an amazingly cool new menu that we've made for spawning. Many of you asked us how you could go about making something like this, so I thought we might as well include it in the asset. In this menu, you can select the weapon you want to spawn with from all the available weapons in the asset and spawn with it, which hopefully gets us one step closer to proper spawning. Still a ways to go. There's also a delay before spawning in case you don't want to allow players to respawn immediately. Now that we're in the game with the weapon we selected in the loadout menu, you might have noticed that there is an immediate apparent difference. The player's got a health bar. Yep. The player does have a health bar, that's one of the new additions. Actually, I've got a great idea. Let us test whether this UI element has any functionality attached to it. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, yep, sure appears to work. My bad, my bad. It seems we're dead. Let's take this opportunity to select another weapon, perhaps something with a bit more uh, firepower. Yeah, just what we needed. Let's try shooting some destructible objects to see what this bad boy can do. Oh? What was that? Did we just get a hit marker when firing at those barrels? Yeah, we did. We now have hit markers in the asset, which show up every time you hit something marked as destructible. Both the image and the sound can be modified. You can also block them from showing up for specific actors. They're highly customizable. But now that we've seen all those neat features, Let's move on to showing the tactical sprints we've added. Yep, seriously, we've added tactical sprinting animations for every single weapon in the asset. You asked, we delivered. Every time you press the running key now, the player will start tactical sprinting, and then switch to the normal running once a specific amount of time has passed. There's a variable for this, naturally. Also worth mentioning is the fact that we've added an option to use toggle sprint instead of halt sprint. This basically means you can switch between needing to hold the sprint key to run, or just needing to tap. We've left toggle sprint enabled by default for this update. With that, let's move on from all the player related features over to some of our most exciting features. We've got a brand new AI spawner, and yes, with it comes AI that you can spawn. Let's check it out. I'm going to change the amount here to 10 and try to spawn. You can spawn as many of these bad boys as your computer can handle. We've done some optimization, but any more than 25 and my PC won't run the asset at 60 FPS in the editor, so just keep that in mind. There they are. 10 beautiful artificially created creatures, or, well, characters, you catch my drift. Before moving on to what these nice fellows can do, I just wanted to quickly mention that we've made the crosshair turn red when pointing at an enemy or a destructible object. It's not the biggest change, but definitely a welcome one, I'm sure. The AI in the asset generally moves between points in the level marked as points of interest. It uses the environment query system to find the points of interest that it likes most and just goes to them. That's really all they do by default. You can actually, in fact, see all the points of interest right here. That said, once you shoot them, things are a little bit different, so let's try that. I just died. Ah, uh, man. They're pretty powerful, as you can see. In any case, these AI agents have quite a few behaviors that allow them to track the player and kill them. They're rather good at that. What do you think? We'd love to hear your feedback on what you've seen so far. Scroll down to the comments and let us know what you think. We'll use your feedback to continuously improve things in the coming updates.
And that pretty much wraps up the entire video. We've made some really big strides toward improving the asset even further, which makes me personally really proud. However, we still have a long way to go, so please subscribe. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of our content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. That was Big O signing off. Hey, that was pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, alright. That's pretty cool.